Hey guys, it's Eric here, back again, and this time showing off an, another archetype that I made for y'all. Um, so I based this archetype, up, um, it's, midi it's a medieval based archetype, which also is slightly based on, uh, on the Fire Emblem series, mainly because a lot of these, uh, a lot of the names in here are, the cl are different classes in Fire Emblem. Um, I'm not really, uh, uh, I'm not really sure which dire direction I want this archetype to head to. I'm still really working out the kinks, but I at least have five starting cards to show off to you guys, and I'm going to show them off to you now. Anyway, uh, the first guy, uh, I made, so the archetype I'm going to kind of revolve around this guy since he's, uh, I made him the leader of this archetype. Um, his name... His name is Al Altalos, Lord of Arcogia. Athalos, Lord of Arcogia, right here. Uh, he's a light level 4, 1800 attack, 1600 defense, warrior, effect monster. So yeah, his effect is that when he's normal summoned, you can add one Arcogia monster from your deck to your hand. A nice way to, uh, instant searcher right there, a monster searcher. So that's always good. Uh, and his second effect is that while you control another Akrogia monster on the field other than himself, he, you can spread summon one level 4 and lower Akrogia monster from your hand. So yeah, uh, he ba uh, basically he leads the chart, he recruits uh, other uh, people into his army, and then he also leads the charge by as long as you control him and someone else, you spread to summon out another one so you fortify your defenses and fortify your attacks. So yeah, um, so that's uh, Arthalos, I'm going to have a very hard time saying these even though I made them up myself. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's Arthalos, the Lord of Akrogia, the leader. Next guy I made is another level 4 monster. His, his name is Sado, Fighter of Akrogia, based on the Fighter class. He's an Earth level 4 warrior monster with, two with 2100 attack and 400 defense. His effect uh, his effect is pretty simple. When this card is normal summon, you can add one Akrogia weapon from your deck to your hand. Uh, I made that, uh, this archetype also, ha also has some equip spells. I didn't make many, but there are equip spells in the card Akrogia weapon, so he gets to search one. So you can instantly search out an equip spell, an equip spell to buff off your dudes. Uh, and, and this is just when you summon, so when he's normal summon, always special summon. Uh, also... He has an effect when he's equipped with an equipped spell, and that is once per turn while this card is an equipped with an equipped spell, uh, you can target one card your opponent controls and destroy it. Pretty simple. Pretty pretty simple destruction there. Also, he's pretty beefy, but doesn't have a lot of defense. So yeah, uh, you got uh, a lot of these monsters that I made so far aren't uh, a lot of the monsters and spells aren't like that. Uh, uh, are pretty simple and stuff like that. Uh, ne uh, but yeah, uh, anyway, let's keep going on to the next guy, which is Tristan Cavalier of Akrogia. He's an Earth level 6 warrior effect type monster with 2200 attack and, and 1800 defense points. His effect is that while you control an other face up Akrogia monster, you can scratch some of this card from your hand. Instant level 6 out on the field as long as you control another Akrogia monster. I kind of want to make this archetype swarm some because, you know, gathering the army and getting them on the field in order to get your attack ready and also your defenses ready as well. Oh yeah, this is his cavalier, so he gets to charge in while you have another dude on your field. Also, I, I gave him a pretty weird effect. Uh, once per turn, during your player's turn, if an Akrogia monster is targeting for an effect, you can return the targeted monster back to the hand. It's I kind of base it off of the the, the skill that uh, some that the cavaliers get called shelter, where they're able to uh, get a pick up a, an ally unit, uh, keep them with them to in order to protect them. So this is a way of them protecting one of the ally units by if they're targeted by a, by a effect, you get to return the target back to the hand, and then there's no target for the effect to happen, so the effect won't, won't resolve. So yeah, those are the three monsters I made from them so far. Of course, I'm gonna add more monsters onto them. But anyway, let's get on to the spells and traps I made for them. I only made one spell and one trap for them. 
I had a pretty... So far, I'm having a pretty hard time trying to couple, come up with spells and traps for them. So, right now, they're not too uh, complicated or something like that. But, yeah. Anyway, the first the spell that I have for them, it's called a Krogia Charge. Uh, it, it has a pretty simple effect. Special summon two Krogia monsters from one from your hand and one from the deck. Uh, with different names. And their effects are negated and they cannot declare an attack this turn. A uh, simple way to bring out your guys, except that they can't attack and they can't. And the effects on the game, so you're gonna be wondering what the heck I'm gonna use them for. You can probably use them for um, Xyz Fodder or Senko Fodder or whatever. Uh, tribute them off for uh, high level monsters or something. Yeah, uh, so yeah, it's a nice way to get out two guys on the field. Two guys, but one from the hand and one from the deck. So it's a way to thin out your deck as well, also emptying out cards from your hand. So yeah, um, and then finally, the la the trap that I made for them, it's a simple counter trap. If an effect, if an, if an effect is activated that would destroy an Akrogia monster or monsters, you can negate and destroy it. A Akrogia parry. A simple, uh, simple protection counter trap, like, uh, basically, a lot of, uh, archetypes need a counter trap or something like that, that protects them and stuff like, that protects them, so yeah. Uh, so, so far, that's all I have for the Akrogia monsters. They seem to have no real direction other than swarming and stuff like that. But I'm trying to work out the kinks with all the other cards that, that I'm working on right now for them. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. If, uh, let me go, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this arch uh, archetype and where you guys can see it going. Um, because I'm still having some trouble figuring that out myself as well. Uh, but yeah. Uh, you probably won't see this update as quickly as the Asmex because the Asmex, I made them like, I, I had an idea for them super fast like that because I already had this idea in my head. But with Akrogia, uh, I have, I'm starting off from the ground up with just working with the medieval stuff and farming and stuff, so I'm having trouble trying to, uh, come up with, like, decent effects that will all fit in archetype and stuff like that. I'm still trying to work out the kinks. Anyway. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video, of course, if you liked it. Comment down below uh, stuff that I've said before, like what you guys think and stuff like that. Again, uh, comment down below some archetypes, some archetype ideas you have, and I can help you. And I can help uh, make that archetype uh, with my, make that archetype, and also present it, uh, giving you credit, of course, because you made it yourself. Uh, yeah. Also, subscribe for more because subscribe for more and stuff like that only if you really enjoyed my stuff though actually no just subscribe just want you to that's why right. <laughs> i have no idea what was going there but yeah anyway i'll see you guys next time